Hey, everybody. Hello. Welcome to New York Nerd Show. It is a special call of the wild. It's like Robert De Niro does that. Something like that. Something like that. Well, tonight's episode is, like she said, kind of a reverse. We are going to be letting these things out into the wild pretty soon. Um, we're just going through some vintage toys that we have and just kind of seeing if you guys can uh, identify them, if you have any con collections, um, connections. We are in our board game layer today. So, yes. yeah, so instead of our video games, we have some crazy board games in our collection. Yes. So, right. very nice. Let's start off with uh, you know, a bunch of Conan the Barbarian items. Yeah, I don't know. Did you ever see like the Conan the Barbarian cartoon, Lord Cash, that was in the mid 90s? <sighs> Vaguely, I like. I wasn't a you know a, a religious watcher by any means, but I believe I've seen at least you know a couple of the uh, the cartoons. Yeah, I wasn't super familiar with it actually uh, myself, but there is a a set of. I am. Um. So there was a set of toys uh, for Conan the Barbarian, and they're actually pretty cool. They're uh, they have an action feature and a lot of accessories that go with it. Uh, Bit of Ritz is making sure that she is putting our Conan the Barbarian figure nice and beautiful with his uh, He Man esque loincloth. I feel like there should be like a QVC thing, like, you know, available for three easy payments. Yes. I don't know how this, it's supposed to fit in, in his shield somehow. Yes. So it says the box. Oh my shield. God. So this is the back. Now two easy payments. Yeah. Yes, that's two easy payments. Exactly. Uh, and all of his. Accessories come off. So yes. I heard of Conan. I don't think I've ever seen it. Look how thick this pull string is. Intense. He's, I he's beefy. He's beefy, man. He objects. But I'm going to pop this off so you can see what he looks like underneath. And while Ooh. she's doing that, I'm going to actually show another. Uh, this is like a, a real vintage thing. It's just from the yeah, 1970s. Why don't you show one of the other things in the. Oh my God. It's the always fun. I'm doing. This is one of the uh, the villains from the Conan the Barbarian. Gold set. Core, I think. Okay, yes. Spins around. Yeah, so a sweet little accessory right there. There we go. So he has his uh, special necklace, right? Yes, that's exactly. Yeah, it's a special necklace. So he can fight them. Yes. I, I'm sure you're loving this over there, Lord Cash, and wishing that you had one of these uh, Conan figures. He came with a battle horse. Very cool. And it has a whole bunch of accessories. And that have like the face cover. I'll grab them real quick. And much like uh, the old Masters of the Universe line, they actually did a um, a paint swap. Basically, as you'll see in a minute, there's a purple okay, version of the same horse. Ooh. Oh dear. This is why we should be sitting on a couch. Yeah, exactly. All right, he Something. has his uh, outfit that covers him. You can his battle armor, that. basically. And then he has little uh, protectors for his legs because that's important for horses. Yes. Yes. Exactly. All right. Of course, all horses need need uh, shooting like little like, weapons exactly. off of them. Of course. Of course, of course. Only a weaponized horse. I won't shoot it. Oh, you this should. This thing goes flying. Yeah. Here. Shoot right at the camera. I'm gonna break your computer. Oh, you know it's all right. Oh, there you go. So, at, least, at least we landed. There's two of them, and they each have a separate kind of weapon. There's a little uh, axe, and then whatever you want to call this thing. Very similar. Uh, uh, mace. This is a purple uh, plastic. It's the same horse, just for different uh, coloring. And then this is the bad guy that rides him. Right there. Gold and the silver. So he exactly. has the same exact pieces. We're missing the shield. Uh, in gold. Hopefully that turns up. But all the rest of the pieces are exactly the same. Even the uh, the weapons is just a different color. And um, the almost the exact same. Like it's a different design. But he has his helmet. He has the sword, the shield, the scepter, and the. They are armor. very uh, fragile. The characters yeah. themselves are not, but the actual little piece of, piece of the plastic have little like. Um, Connection points that I can imagine were easily broken back in the day. Yes. Right. 
So our next item away from the Conan the Barbarian series is actually a Robin Williams uh, character from the 1970s. Any guesses, Lord Cash, on who this might be? Well, if it's from the 70s, it's got to be Mork. Yeah, that's true. I kind of gave it away, right? This yeah. Is the official Mork from Orc uh, drawstring plush. Nice. Yeah, he's disconnected. Yes. But very cool. I mean, I think it actually genuinely looks like uh, yeah, yeah. Ron Williams is the more from work character. Kind of like, um, wrestling buddies. Yeah, it was his catchphrase, what basically. Nanu, nanu. Yeah, that's what he'd he say, say, yeah. Nanu, nanu. Now... This now, some of these are going to be themed. Don't don't you worry. But this next item I just found in a box. I knew I had it, but it's very random. But it is a David Hasselhoff Hot Wheels car. Okay. Yeah, I could not find this anywhere online. I could find this actual car, but this additional David Hasselhoff sticker, a Hot Wheels sticker, can't find it anywhere. So uh, don't hassle the Hoff. Um, it, it, it's just cool. I mean, again, this is from 1990, so this is uh, 30 years old at this point. Um, yeah, I, I imagine this was like a black car. Like, I don't know what the kit car was actually what model is. Do you know what model kit was back in Knight Rider? Um, it was a. <sighs> It'd be great if it was a Trans Am. Okay. It'd be cool if it was a Ferrari Testarossa because that's what this guy is right no, here. That so. is not. Yeah, but yeah, very. Very cool David Hasselhoff Hot Wheels car. Well, we have a variety of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys. The first comes at this, uh, this actually, this mug. Um, I believe it was supposed to be Michelangelo. Uh, I might have just faded over time, but it's pretty cool. It's uh, sculpted. You got like a sewer, a city sewer background, a nice little uh, handle on it. Did you ever have anything like this, Lord Cash? Any kind of Ninja Turtles uh, uh, dinnerware? Um, I don't know that I did. What What were your thoughts on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Or was there anything that you specifically uh, remember from that? Um, as far as the like the animated series, I loved it. That was one of the the shows that I always watched. Um, I was a big fan of those. Um, but I, I said I never had any of the, uh, I like, actually, the one thing I did have, um, I had, it was one of the, um, uh, like, uh, like a, I think it might've came with like a toothbrush and cup, almost like a, a cup with a, a handle on it. That was like a, a bathroom set. Right. Okay. And, um, that cup for, I want to say years, and my mom may even still have it. But it was it's in uh, her her flower bin. Okay. So if she were to like make do any baking or whatever, she would scoop out using my Ninja Turtle uh, cup. Yeah. And that's what she would sprinkle the the flower. The flower in the garden. All right. So next up, these are continuing the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Playmate line. Now, Very well know, does anybody know what that guy's called? I do. I'm just kind of getting everybody like a hey, uh, hands in. Very nice. So this one around here, uh, this is a ground chuck character was his name. Uh, I believe he was in one episode of the cartoon series. There was a lot of uh, characters that were like not in the series. They were just toy figures. This one right here is Rock City in his military gear. Uh, I don't believe that one was at all from the uh, cartoon, other than Rock City himself. We do also have. We do also have the. No, uh, wait, I have a question. Sure. Rock City or Bebop? That's Rocksteady. No. Oh, do you like Rocksteady or Bebop? <laughs> which which bad guy do you each prefer? <laughs> One of my first Look. Ninja Turtles figures was the original Rocksteady. Foot Clan. Yes. yes. Which is right here. The original Rocksteady figure was one of my first uh, action figures I got from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, line. So, uh, again, there's like, again, you can see two different versions of him. Did you uh, ever have, uh, which, like Peter Ritz said, like, did you have a preference between Rocksteady or Bebop? I, I felt that that granted that there really wasn't a a high IQ between the two of them, right? Um, but I, I felt that Rocksteady maybe was just a little bit smarter than than Bebop. Um, but again, it, it's your your 
you've got a, a shallow pool that you're diving into. So yeah. uh, it's still, I, I, I think Rocksteady was just a little bit cooler being a rhino versus Bebop kind of being the, the, uh, the hog or the boar. Yeah, exactly. Was, uh, I don't know if you'd say that if you met either one of those in person. Um, again, we'll ha we'll cross that bridge if uh, if uh, get a, there? a man boar or uh, oh nice uh, or a, a even man a wild a real boar a real boar is something to not to sleep about. Whatever. <laughs> you again, I tried. I tried. All right, what was this guy? Is that the uh, uh, starts with the T like Torak or, or Tokra? There's Tokra and Razor from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 movie. Um, and they were kind of like the Bebop and Rock City of that particular uh, franchise of the movie series. They did uh, come into the part at one point and they were serving as um, mid, mid game bosses in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtles in Time video game. Uh, very cool character. Uh, I did recycle some parts from the Slash action figure, another really cool uh, baddie from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line. I, I was, I loved the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles when I was a kid. That that was my jam for sure. Nice. nice. Well, you know the what was the turtle song? What T U R T L E power T U. Is that what was at the end of the movie? What? All right. Next up. Ready. We have some from the Toon Turtles later in the uh, series of original run. Um, for whatever reason, Michelangelo has a ridiculous uh, exploding tongue action. I'm going to get you. He's a, he's a frog. They do that. With the, they get the flies. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I don't think you're frogs. Yes. <laughs> it's okay. We won't take off any points, but it's right there. Is it, there was a line <laughs> of frogs. There was. Yeah, well, I was going to say, it's a mutant turtle. He's He has frog genetics for his tongue. There you go. We'll go with that. <laughs> yes, life will always find a way. Do you ever have one of these? Um, yeah, I don't know if I have the, uh, the 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 tongue smacker, you know, Ninja Turtle. Because that was later in the line, but uh, another figure that was somewhat later in the line, there was probably about 30 different Donatellos, if not more. Playmates, for whatever reason, well, because the series was hot, um, they just kept making version after version after version of each character. This was the Firefighty Donnie. Uh, right here. Do they all have this outfit, or only him? Were each one a different, different? They were all different thing, I believe. Okay. So um, I could be wrong, but a lot of times they're just all different occupations. Yeah. What was one of the, um, like the offshoot Ninja Turtle characters that you can remember as a kid? You know, like I said, you had like the ones that were playing sports, ones that were, like playing Donatello as a firefighter. Do you remember any that were like gimmicks and serious. costumes? Yeah. I, I feel like I remember. Uh, like an astronaut one. Yeah, Raphael was an astronaut. Love that one. So um, that's that's one that's popping in my head. I, I'm sure I've seen a couple other ones um, that I just aren't aren't thinking of right now. Right. Yeah, no, that is definitely one of the ones for sure. And this yeah, one's a very popular one. Yosagio Jumbo. Uh, he actually had a his own comic book series before the Ninja Turtles and they kind of brought him into the universe. Uh, does he kind of uh, register for anything for you, Lord Cash? Oh, yeah. Uh, and in fact, uh, at one time, I, when I, you know, throw my, my ponytail up on my head, uh, I felt like I, I, I was like resembling him at some point. That is spirit. You know, my, my, my buck teeth. Only half on for one of them. Or is it half off? I feel like it should be removable so he could Karate chop people without the cross. Well, it, it's he's he's not his name's not Riddle. I don't get it. Matt Riddle is a wrestler. That's our combination that. one two punch with our Slam Nation wrestling show Tuesdays at eight p.m. <laughs> is he got like a pizza thrower I'm on scared. on him? Yes, it looks like you can shoot pizza. Thing through his stomach, and he looks like he um, there's there's something mixed in with the pizza. I don't know what it is, but it's something that he needs to get off. He needs to go to rehab. <laughs> he something off his chest. There's like a cheese bag that he's holding. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening here, but this is <laughs> super creepy, Michelangelo, and he's usually one of my favorites. 
I can't say that this is one that I would want. In His any way. eyes say everything. That goes to party, dude. He just didn't say where those parties took place and uh, at what time in the morning they turned off. Yes, I feel like I want a pizza thing to see how this thing works. And shoot it out. Unfortunately, I don't have any of the pizza. Of course. Yeah, you ate it all. I know. So uh, this is like a race car driver, Donatello. <laughs> He's really uh, trying. Was it like one of those reality shows where he tried a different career every episode? <laughs> no. Little, uh, 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 occupational swap. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Now, Donnie right there is actually from the 2002-2003 series, uh, just like with this foot soldier. Um, that this is from like the one of the first actual reboots of the series, so they're a little bit shine, a little bit more um, uh, just sleek, so to speak. Um, like I did there. Uh, now, Lord Cash, you watch the um, the, the the reboot in the early two thousands? Um, I know I watched one of them. Um, there was one, I believe it was on the WBCW uh, that was. Just atrocious. Um, there was, and I, I'm, I'm going to look it up to, um, as to which one that may have been. Okay. Uh, and, and while he's looking those up, here's another thing. Well, that... wait, 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 one second. I just want to say, I kind of mentioned this. It's very weird that it feels like his helmet should come off and it doesn't. This thing just wiggles. Right, and uh, it looks like there's a, slot, a spot for you could stick his... Uh, Tell me out the big wooden sticks. Oh, the bow. The bow stuff. Yes, the bow stuff. Now, this is really cool. It is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles turtle chain game. These are like monkey in the middles. No. Monkey in the bar barrel of monkeys, yeah. but they're Ninja Turtles. Interesting. So you can actually, you can pull them out. The whole... No, they're all one color. They're all green, but... I don't know, but there's a kind of fun little uh, thing that you can do with the different uh, Ninja Turtle characters. That was, again, 90s, late 80s, early 1990s. It was Turtle Mania, and they top. put their name on everything. Right. right. This is cute. I'm going to show the sides. Hold on. Oh, man. So here's the City Sewer Turtle Chain Game. I feel like it's a Turtle Chain Game. No, <laughs> they should all be like linking arms on this. <laughs> so, the one thing of turtles that I I enjoyed was uh, from the uh, 2012 to 2017, the Nickelodeon version. Yeah. Uh, so you had uh, you know Sean Austin as Raphael, Rob Polson as uh, Donatello, uh, Seth Green as as Leonardo. Uh, really? Kevin Michael Richardson as the Shredder. Yeah, so no. um, these ones uh, were the ones I I really uh, liked. I thought they did a very cool job with this. Um, the animation was just a little bit, you know, something to kind of um, uh, get attuned to. Um, but for the most part, I, I did enjoy uh, this version of uh, the, the Reboot Turtles. There was the 2003 one that I didn't like so much, I don't think. Gotcha. Hold on real quick. I want to zoom in, show you the monkey turtle. <laughs> he, another type of mutant. He's a monkey turtle. That other guy was a frog turtle. Sure. <laughs> now, our last of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle collectibles that we have is a Jim Lee version of Raphael. I yeah. never, this was very strange. Like, I, so were you, you nodded your head, Lord Cash. Were you familiar of this, uh, or, or aware of this crossover? I'm aware of Jim Lee. Of Savage Dragon, I believe was his, one of his big things that he did back in the day. Um, well, I know he did a, a whole reboot of, um, of a lot of the DC characters. Oh, okay. Um, and so, in fact, I, Probably, if I had 30 seconds, I actually have um, a couple of the Funko Pops that are uh, done in that design, uh, where I've got uh, the Flash, Catwoman, uh, like they did a whole line of um, 
And so he's a big um, uh, animator for uh, in, in the comic world. Okay. Um, and in fact, last year, had things not gone the way they did, um, he was going to be making an appearance at uh, Megacon here in Orlando. And I was going to have him sign uh, some of my um, my Funko Pops. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, like you said, things did actually go the wrong way as far as that goes. But, you know, hopefully he... He'll make an appearance at an upcoming show once they get back on track. Oh, yeah, 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 totally. Um, he, It wasn't a, a fluke of nature that they've gotten him. I think he's done a couple appearances in, in the past, but yeah. Now, uh, as you mentioned, you know, like the Ninja Turtles obviously were a hot deal, right? They were like very big. And that led to a lot of different like um, copycats, so to speak, you know, like right. of a group of hip, cool, anamorphic um, characters these were one of the uh, kind of copycats. Are you familiar with these guys, Lord Cash? Are those biker mice from Mars? They are biker mice from Mars. <laughs> Woo! Now, I remember them, and I remember a Super Nintendo game, but for the life of me, I don't know what their names are. Any idea? Um, no, I, I, I feel like I watched... Yes. The uh, the shows uh, from them, but I actually never um, like remember it. Apparently, there was. I'm looking here on IMDb that there was a 1993, the original one. There was a 2006 reboot. Really? Uh, yeah. Um, and Rob Polson uh, did the uh, the voice of at least one of them. Now, for those people that don't know who Rob Polson is, me. Uh, you you who, don't know who Rob, Rob Polson, Polson is. Yeah, what did he do most famously? Uh, he is the voice of Yakko. Oh, okay. There you go. I See, that's to say, I just needed to kind of get a little bit of frame of reference. Yeah, yeah. So um, in the um, – and he also – I think, believe he was a, a, bra a pinky, uh, but he was definitely in that Animaniacs world, mm -hmm. and he did a lot of voices, um, a, a lot of other stuff as well. So um, – Okay. Yeah. I want to mention that these guys aren't um, posable. They're just like rubber, straight rubber figures. Yeah, they have the bendy wire inside of them, so. Um, I don't feel like they really move. So, like, again, they're they're kind of old, but, like, like, I can make him put his arm up. Oh, I couldn't. Yeah, you just kind of have to, Oh, like, you really have to be a little aggressive with them. Yeah. Be, they have their little aggressive. antennas, which is, makes them from Mars. Exactly. Now, Lord Cash, here's what's going to be right up your alley. And if you've been following um, on some of our iStream Ustream episodes, you'll know of the Masters of the Universe. Cobra Khan. You got it, Cobra Khan. And what was Cobra Khan's big feature? Do you remember? We had, like, the hood. He did, but you could fill him up with water and spray people, at least in the original uh, Masters right. of the Universe line from the 80s. Because he was a spitting cobra. Yes. So he had the spitting cobra. I loved this guy when I was a His kid. Faces. I actually got him in second grade from this kid named Steve. Is this and, one yours? No, this oh. one actually is not mine. But um, and I got it. We used to do like a, a toy exchange, like a Christmas gift exchange in our elementary school, and I got him as a present. I thought that was pretty cool. Nice. Um, and then we have the Road Ripper from the Masters of the Universe line as well. Nice. It's got all the stickers and everything. Unfortunately, the ripper device where you pull and make it go is not with it. Um, oh. And also one of the seat belts is a little bit messed up. But it's still kind of cool. Nice little piece. Very recognizable piece of Master of the Universe. Um, what did you actually have for MOTU when you were a kid? Do you have a, 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 set of, a set of guys that you liked? Oh, my gosh. I The Cyclone was one of the big ones I had. Um, oh, the blue I, and red guy that spun? Uh, blue and yellow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and uh, you had like the little uh, dial right at his waist, and you'd fling that, and he'd just spin all around. Um, I remember that one. Of course, you know, had various He-Mans um, and a lot of the other Masters. I had I had Ram Man, where you could like pop him down, and his legs would be up in his in his body. Um, and uh, I had Stratos was one of I was always one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. um, I had Buzz Off. I remember. Um, I had a whole bunch of uh, just various. I had I had Stinkor, Moss Man. Uh, I remember Stinkor having that 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 smell. 
My mom wouldn't let me have him because he stunk. That was like one of the. How bad was the smell, really, though? I mean, it's a toy. No, it smells like black licorice or like a skunk, basically. Yeah, but like how strong? Can you smell it through the whole room? Or was it like scratch and sniff to smell it kind of feel? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, I think, was it Real Rogers or Rip Rogers? There's the cowboy that had all the guns like hiding in him. I don't recall his name. Yeah, I, I just I always thought he was a pretty cool. Like he doesn't like fit into the He-Man universe really, but I don't know. I yeah. liked him as a toy. Now, similar era as He-Man, we had Thundercats. Oh! <laughs> and I've got a couple of the vintage Thundercats figures, and I actually have two from the uh, one of the reboots they did. I know you're a fan of the reboots, Lord Cash. Um, not all of them. I will. <laughs> I will stand behind. I will never, ever, ever watch Thundercats roar. Yeah, I, I don't I think it was before the Thundercats roar. It was something like in the early 2000s, I believe they did. Yeah, so it, was, it was roughly around the same time as uh, the 2000, um, uh, what was it? Uh, da, 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 the uh, 2011 is when they came out. And I think uh, the Master of the Universe was 2012. Uh, you had uh, Will Fr- uh, Freddell. Uh, Fredell as Lionel. Uh, if you're not familiar with him, he was Terry McGinnis and Batman Beyond, as well as Eric Matthews in Boy Meets World. Oh, okay, interesting. Uh, which, of course, uh, in 2019, they had the cast of Boy Meets World uh, come to MegaCon, and that mm-hmm. was one of, I had to get my photo with them because that was one of my favorite shows uh, in the 90s. So I got my picture with uh, Sean and Corey. Topanga and Eric Matthews. I just always want to see a reunion where Minkus is like this, like hardened, like pris- uh, prisoner. He's got like bats all over him. He's like Jack, but still short. I was always hoping that Minkus just went hard. Nope, nope. But he, but he lost all his fortune. Oh yeah. Um, and the uh, they did a uh, Girl Meets World um, sequel series on uh, the Disney Channel. Uh, Last for about three, maybe four seasons. Uh, was really good. I enjoyed it, um, and uh, I watched it with Allie um, here, and so she even went back to start watching the original Boy Meets World. But uh, yeah, basically, you have uh, Topanga and uh, Corey's uh, daughter uh, is kind of your your main cast uh, with a your your hardened friend, uh, <laughs> your, your Sean character. Um, but uh, it was really good. But yeah, nice. there's a, a, a Minkus character. Uh, his son was part of the, the group as well, so it was it was amusing. Nice. Funny. So these are the vintage Thundercats figures. Um, Unfortunately, this one the punching action doesn't work because they have the little button on the back. I thought I had it working earlier. Oh, maybe you could play around with some more. Do you know the name of this guy? Okay. Uh, Andrew the Giant. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a jackal. It is jackal man. Yeah. Say it again. Jackal man. Definitely were not uh, working extra hard at the creative factory. That yeah, no, they were not creative at all. One tooth, Willie. No. Yeah. <laughs> that, works. that is like Gron or Gronk the Destroyer or something like that. Yeah, I don't remember that one. Yeah, I, I looked it up earlier. It's a relatively uncommon one. Um, like if he had all his accessories, it's actually very expensive. But uh, even without, he's not too common. Walrus man? I think it is. Ooh, I think it is. Did I get tough. right? This works. I actually was never a fan yeah. of uh, of Thundercats as a cartoon. I love the toys though. Um, that's why I just I got into the toys. Like I had a uh, Panther or Panther or whatever. Uh, Lino. Um, Richie. Yeah, Lino Richie. Yes, exactly. Yeah, that was, uh, I I loved Thundercats uh, growing up, um, and I am absolutely uh, dying for a proper uh, live action adaptation. Live action, you said? Yes, I want one. Um, Like, I I feel technology is at that place where we can do mocap properly and and get it uh, done, done right. Um, last Christmas, Lord Cash, they were singing. You didn't remember that? Yeah, no. I think uh, Corbin Burton was in it. Or, uh, Who's that? 
The Jennifer Hudson was in it. She did a hell of a job. Uh, the guy who does the interviews. Yeah, exactly. Corbin something or other. Oh, I don't think that's his last name. What is anyway. his name? Um, the heavy set guy that's got where, from England. Yeah, I'm I'm blanking on his name right now. Best jokes are ones that you have to explain or like take a long time to get there. Yeah, cats. He's talking about cats. Yeah, exactly. Uh, these are two of the uh, the remade uh, Thundercats guys from the uh, early two thousands. Right yeah. there, Tigra and Mumra. Yeah, Tiny. exactly. Small. Yeah. There we. What's this guy? So they're like. Half yeah, the you size. got an eight eight inch versus a six inch uh, character. Yeah. Right. Um, the reboot uh, from 2011 was really well done. Ooh. Sorry, this cape comes off. Yeah. Hold on. I thought it was all one, one piece. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different off. animation. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One piece. Now we only have a couple more things we're going to show today. Um, but this guy actually glows in the dark. Um, you might recognize him from a series in the 1990s, Lord Cash. But this guy right here, does he strike a bell or strike a, uh, you know, a little itch for you? You know what, who this is? What are these phrases? I don't know. I'm butchering them, though. I, I'll zoom in. It, it's hard to, 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 to see him. Um, yeah, it's good. You can't tell because of the, <laughs> the screen. Glowing. No, but you can't tell on this because of the screen light is too kind of. Oh, you can kind of see it. <laughs> no, you th you're not understanding. It's fine. The screen is glowing, so you can't tell that it's. Anyway. He's not a hero. So, who is that? I don't know what his name is. I know it's from Captain um, Planet. Oh, Captain Planet. Okay. Yeah, I think um, he's, he's causing the pollution. Yes, he is. He's one of the bad guys. I'm only joking. I don't really know what his badness is. Well, he he hasn't paid taxes either in quite a few years. He's been a tax yes, evader. Is that the toxic guy? We're gonna say yes. Doctor, was it Doctor Blight? Of course, it's Doctor Blight. Duh. We have no idea. Put in the chat. It was Doctor Blight. We need some uh, Captain Power rings. Yes, we do. Captain Planet. No, that's rings. not Doctor oh. Blight. So, these next uh, ones are actually from the 1980s, is our very early 1980s. They're actually one of the first um, of the action action figures. Now, they did have Migos of uh, these guys prior, but these are um, some vintage Marvel and DC action figures. Nice. This? No. Oh, the, uh, the Hawk, uh, Hawkman right here is actually missing his uh, flapping wings. Mm -hmm. Um, so we're just going to pretend that he has bone excursions. I, I don't know. Um, but they're pretty cool. I mean, like, these are the ones that I had when I was a kid, um, for, you know, in the very beginning anyway. Um, like, I had a Flash figure that his leg broke off. Um, but, yeah, did you ever have any of these figures, Lord Cash? Um, I, I don't know if I did or not. He needs some underwear. So does the toy. Uh, I don't remember these guys at all. They're they're definitely tiny. A lot of the paint's rubbed off, but obviously they're like how old? Yeah. I'm asking. Uh, those are from the early 1980s, so, uh, so uh, 30, 30 plus. Yeah. yeah. Between 30 and 40 years old. Right. Well, we'll do for today. This one you might recognize, Lord Fast. I'm not sure if you watched this show. I believe that you did. We're dropping accessories here. Yes, we are. Does this guy look familiar to you? It's from a mid 1990s uh, TV show. Um, Turn around. Let's see. Let's see. He's deep show in thought. Some, was it a? Is that a live action series? Yes, it is. Was that from like Hercules and Xena? Maybe. Uh, yes, it was. His, job. his name and was Arraticulus. We even have a proof of purchase. Yeah, so that was, that was um, no, that's not, uh, oh gosh, I'm trying to say. What's that? 
Autolicus or Autoculus? I'm assuming Autoculus is probably the better way to put it. Yeah, uh, it's, it's Autolicus. There you go. There you go. You heard it here first. Um, it even has a little bit that doesn't work. Oh, it's like women jeans. Yes, it is like very annoying. He's looking for his Hercules and Xena uh, things. Yeah, at one point we actually had figures for that set, um, but we uh, did solos on eBay. Yeah. Yeah. No, I have, go ahead. I can say I had the um, one of the box sets for uh, Hercules, uh, but I, I cleaned off part of my desk. So some of those things I would like, go, oh, look, I, I got this or that. That's I, I moved it somewhere. Well, we have Kevin Sorbo live on air. Come on, Kevin. Oh, no, he's not here. Yeah, no. Nah. He's the guy that played Hercules. Oh, okay. Well, that's what we thank have you. for today. Yeah. yeah, thanks for joining us tonight. Um, I, I know, know it was it random, but. Yeah, it wasn't normal uh, game room that we normally do, but we wanted to kind of show off some of this stuff before we uh, see what we'll get for them at the game shop that we're going to be bringing them over to tomorrow. Yeah, so we've been working these on eBay for a while. I'm just going to see what we can do with them now. There you go. Yeah, why not? All right. Well, yeah, would you say, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for joining <laughs> us. <laughs> and uh, don't forget to join us tomorrow night for our um, iStream Ustream special. We're going to be uh, previewing all the different streaming shows um, that are going to be coming up in the month of August. Are there any in particular that you want to tease the viewers about for tomorrow? Uh, well, right off the bat, uh, I will let you know that there is a big, big movie going to be dropping on uh, HBO Max on August 6th. A very wide-released, very anticipated movie uh, by a certain uh, director. I don't know how much further you want me to go into teasing this. Is it Porky's four? Three. All right. So on that note, <laughs> let's go over the schedule. <laughs> so tomorrow, as we mentioned, uh, we've got iStream, Ustream. We're already going over the upcoming uh, streaming uh, opportunities uh, on all of the channels, whether it's uh, HBO Max, Disney Plus, Netflix, Apple TV, Paramount, whatever. If, if I if I can find a, uh, a schedule for it, I'm going to talk about some of those uh, hot items to watch. Uh, Friday is Funko Royalty, uh, where I will be showing you some of uh, my recently acquired uh, Funko Pops. Saturday is Mail Call Mail Time, where uh, things that we get in the mail, uh, we will go ahead and open those boxes on air and show you what's in the box. Sunday is Call of the Wild as we uh, get things from stores, the malls, wherever where we go looking, garage sale, uh, estate sales. You know, if we find it, we'll bring it back and uh, show off those uh, wonderful finds. Monday is Crazy Card Collecting where we'll open up those uh, retro trading cards and show you what uh, packages we've got uh, there. And then Tuesday is Slam Nation Wrestling, where we're going to uh, talk about uh, what's going on in the world of wrestling. Uh, could be some sort of a top uh, five uh, selection. We recently did a, our uh, WWE top and worst five uh, tag teams uh, that uh, all that Pat and myself uh, thought uh, won those honors. And then, of course, uh, on our regular schedule Wednesday night is the game room. Uh, so join us next week. We will hopefully be uh, playing something uh, video game related and uh, just tune in uh, to see what that is. And, of course, if you uh, like and subscribe uh, to our channel, when we do go live with whatever it may be, uh, you'll get notified and be uh, make sure you uh, turn on those notifications so that way you do actually get alerted uh, properly. If by chance, you know, you catch us on a repeat, uh, we are uh, on YouTube with uh, over 200 videos specially curated uh, for all of you to watch. And of course, you can always catch us live on YouTube, Facebook, as well as Titch, uh, Twitch every night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Woo! Exactly. And of course, if you like what you see, spread the word of the nerd. Tell your families and friends uh, because we want to be loved and we want to love you in return. We're having our uh, upcoming uh, contest at the end of the month. If you're a subscriber to YouTube, Facebook, or Twitch, or all three, you get entries into our monthly contest to win a, uh, a selection of retro trading cards. So it's the nerd curated cards. 
So we'll be announcing our two winners this month, and we're doing it for the beginning of August. But until then, we'll see you next time. Nanu, nanu, adios. Peace.